Hello and good morning. This is the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 20th of September 2019. The time, the time is 09.28 hours British summer time. This is the Markham Uphill in Caerphilly and a week ago I was in Hereford and the temperature peaked at 24 degrees Celsius. This week uh, I think we're about 17 at the moment and what a week it has been. There has been not only a lot of weather, there has been a lot of politics. There is a rugby on in the Malcolm Uphill at the moment so you may be hearing crowd noise and also pub noise such as life. Anyway, wind, rain, weather warnings tonight there is an overnight yellow rain warning there is a rain warning for monday into tuesday and i miss the indian summer however september the month of politics wow what a week it's been my real list on twitter completely full up and i think next week even more so the tory party conference uh, maybe a government led by Amber Rudd, maybe a completely new government by uh, Mr. Corbyn and the Scottish Nationalists. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. May you live in interesting times. We are certainly living in interesting times at the moment. Anyway, um, turning this into the weekly beer and tech look back, scratch his eye, um, iOS. I said last week that I wouldn't upgrade to 13, I would wait until iOS and iPad OS went to 13.1. They did that, I think it was Tuesday. I upgraded straight away. Um, bugginess. In fact, Larty. Larty? Last night, uh, iOS and iPad OS 13.1.1 dropped, and they are basically um, bug fixes. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of good things in a 13, um, although I must say the Photos app, uh, the user interface, I'm not keen on. Functionality, great, but. Uh, uh, bring back and I put the microphone just down a touch here because I think I'm peaking or maybe a bit back up um, uh, um, so here's my point for the week I said that Android 10 was a painless upgrade it was however there was actually down a bit there was um, an update to Google Chrome on it yesterday and it just sit, sat there updating and updating and updating and updating and not ever completed this seems to be a problem going back quite a long way uh, most of the fixes I found on the internet didn't work however this one did uninstall older updates uh, if you find the app in the control panel and then there's three little dots top right and you can uninstall the old update and then it just works so Google sort out your code Apple are you really sure that you want to do a full update on all your products once a year I know in the past you have said we are concentrating on speed and such like but let's make sure that everything we have got just works and not push out buggy updates better late than buggy and while we're at it Microsoft two updates a year are they really needed because they've been getting later and later and the testing for the patches which occur on patch Tuesday the second Tuesday of each month at 10 a.m. Pacific which over in the UK is 6 o'clock in the night they have been remarkably buggy all of you you really need to concentrate on getting your software bug free 
You may say you can't get it completely bug free, but as things stand at the moment, some of the updates are really rubbish. And the advice on not to go for full point updates and wait for the first service pack or the point one, even that's disappearing. You're tending to go for point twos now. This can't be good for us consumers. Yeah, and then there's beer. The Rugby World Cup is on, as I've mentioned. And it's interfering with my drinking. Although there are a number of beers that are taking advantage of the Rugby World Cup. Um, the Romney Brewery had um, a rugby beer. And there are various other beers as well. But what it's done, and in the week I was in the Tumble and Wells were playing, and the place was packed out, is turned the pubs into Christmas pubs. All those people only come drinking when the rugby's on. They're interfering. <laughs> you can't get a seat. Um, I went into the Tumble, I think it was Thursday, Wednesday maybe, England were playing, the place was empty. It was great. I could get a seat. I could get served at the bar. There were no issues. And as I'm an old curmudgeon, and strangely enough, someone who lives in Wales not really that interested in rugby, I don't honestly care. Anyway, what have we got to look forward to in the week ahead? More politics, obviously. More weather. But I'm um, off to Gloucester for Gloucester Brewery's Oktoberfest. And I can't wait, and I'm really looking forward to it. You can't beat a bit of autumn German Southern Munich beers. I love their multi taste. Anyway, um, I need to get another beer, and I need to wash my hands, he says politely. Bye bye.